All right, so it's the 27th, which means we're almost done with the year of April. It's been a crazy year. It's been a crazy month. It's been going on for what feels like forever. And within all of the craziness, there's been a lot of interesting social media trends as well, especially on Instagram. We're seeing a lot of stuff emerge. And did you know that social media usage, especially Instagram usage is up almost 40%. Everybody's at home, everybody's on social media. So in this video here, I wanna talk about some of the new trends that have started to emerge over all the new social media trends. And it's my hope that you watch this video and get some good ideas of what's evolving on Instagram. What are the new trends? So you could take it back into your own brand, your own page, and see some engagement because with these new trends come engagement because they're new and they're trendy. So that being said, let's get right into today's video, new Instagram trends for 2020 and on. Welcome back to my channel. You're now rocking with the best. My name is Bobby, AKA the Influencer CEO. And this is the channel where we help you build influence on social media. So if any of that sounds good to you, if you're trying to start a movement online, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe to this channel. It is greatly appreciated. Helps us out within the algorithm. All right, so let's get right into some of the new trends we're seeing in this, I guess we can call coronavirus era of social media. And I'm not just saying that just to say it, the coronavirus is literally changing how we use social media. Not only is social media usage up, but people are at home and they're using social media differently. For instance, social media usage is up, but it's up more on desktop than it is mobile. And certain features are up while certain features are down. And one of the first features I wanna talk about is Instagram Live. And you've probably noticed this a lot. So this is gonna be our first trend, Instagram Live. Now, Instagram Live has been around forever, but the adoption curve has been really slow. What's the adoption curve? When a new product comes out, it takes a long time for people to get onto it, to get used to it, and to start using it to its full potential. What we're starting to see happen is all of these influencers flock to Instagram Live and use it in ways we haven't seen before. Instagram Live used to be something where you just get on your phone, you put it to your face and you just talk. Hey, what's going on? Let's listen to some music. Now we're seeing it evolve into almost a TV show like phenomenon. I want to show you Andrew Schultz right here who hosts a TV show called Quarantine Live where he essentially has people call into the show, join the live and show off a talent and it gets real raunchy, it gets real dirty. I think he actually got banned for having strippers on as a talent. No, 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 that's not him, that's Tory Lanez. Tory Lanez is a rapper who hosts another show called Quarantine Live. Uh, Andrew Schultz's show was called Corona Got Talent. Uh, Tory Lanez was Quarantine Live or something like that. And basically he got banned uh, from doing live because he had strippers on the show. Let me show, let's show a video. <laughs> That's what it looked like. But that's what I'm saying is that Instagram Live is evolving and it's here to stay. And it's not just Instagram Live that's popping off. Social media streaming is increasing across all platforms. Twitch, oh my God, Twitch is seeing massive growth right now. And I'm kicking myself in the ass because I wanted to start one of the first uh, live social media shows on Twitch months ago, months ago. And I've just been, uh, you know, stuck learning how to use all these softwares and things. So I didn't get around to it. I wish I would have done it. I wish I would have done it. I'm still going to do it. But you know, live stream is popping off everywhere. Okay. And the way people use it is changing. So highly consider adopting some sort of live strategy. All these social media brands had uh, a set plan for the year. So Instagram sat down at the beginning of the year, Facebook, Twitter, Nike, all these big brands, all these big platforms, they sit down at the beginning of the year and they said, all right, we're going to do this here, this here, this here, this here. Coronavirus happens, they all got together and said, fucking scrap all of that. All of it, because it's changed. Social media's changed so much. So Nike has a live stream that they're doing now. Big brands have live streams that they're doing. People are hosting live TV shows, live cooking shows, live rap battles, live whatever it is, because the traffic is there. And it's where people wanna be. People want, people miss live television. So they're coming to social media. And even after this coronavirus, I don't anticipate that changing. Second trend on Instagram I'm starting to see is IGTV, wait for it, 
series. So IGTV has been a clusterfuck in 2020. At first, it seemed like this massive failure. Let me pull up this article right here that talked about the number of downloads IGTV got compared to TikTok. It's straight up embarrassing. Well, then Instagram started to change the narrative a little bit when they introduced a possible monetization platform, meaning you can get paid for posting videos to IGTV, which is, hmm, this is a little interesting. Now, not a lot of people know this, but Instagram makes way more more money in ad revenue than YouTube. And Instagram shares none of it with its creators. So for example, this video gets 100 views. Damn, I'll be happy if it gets 100 views, right? Instagram or YouTube will give me like a penny. Woo, congratulations to me, right? If Instagram, you got a post that gets a million views, you're not getting zero, none of it, none of it. And the fact that Instagram has gotten this far without monetarily supporting the creators that helped it get to that level, is crazy, right? Now what we're seeing is Instagram heavily supporting IGTV because the more people getting on IGTV, the more money Instagram is gonna make at the end of the day. And that's what Instagram is all about, right? They're all about the money, if you haven't already figured that out. So along with Instagram supporting IGTV has been a bunch of new features that make it really interesting. And just like I talked about you wanting to adopt a live strategy, whatever that may be, you're gonna wanna adopt a IGTV st uh, strategy as well because one, they've adopted some new features. So now if you play or if you create an IGTV video and then there is an option to preview that IGTV video to your Instagram story. And if somebody watches three seconds of that IGTV video in your Instagram story, I hope you're following along here, you'll get a view counted towards your video views. What does that mean? It means that let's say you post a video to Instagram, 60 second standard ass video, uh, and it gets 100 views. Now let's say you make it 63 seconds, you post it to IGTV, it gets 100 views, you preview it to an Instagram story, and another 100 people view your Instagram story with the IGTV pre preview for three seconds, you're going to get 200 views. So Instagram has essentially given us a way to, I don't know about double our engagement, but significantly increase the amount of engagement, butcher that word, significantly increase the amount of engagement we get on our IGTV videos or just videos in general if we just make them longer. The second thing they did was they announced this series feature. And when they first announced this series feature, it seemed like this was Instagram's big step into YouTube. Instagram TV is going to be the vertical YouTube of the world, right? That's what, that's what it really felt like. So what the IGTV series feature is, is essentially you can create your own TV show within your Instagram account, which is pretty cool. And with that comes some features. So you can create a series on your IGTV and a series would be something like cooking with Bobby, whatever you wanna label, you can call it whatever. And somebody could actually follow your series, meaning if they view another episode in your series, it'll do some cool things like you can watch where you last left off in the series, you can get updates when you post new videos to your IGTV series. Like I said, Instagram is really trying to step into YouTube's territory and become the vertical YouTube. Now, there's some things that aren't existing yet, but I have a good hunch they'll start to be. So if Instagram really wants that YouTube money and they really want people to post long form videos to Instagram. One, they're gonna have to pay us, which they already announced that they're gonna do. They're gonna allow us to monetize our IGTV. And two, they have to give us engagement because people have to watch these videos, right? Now, here's the thing, and here's where Instagram and YouTube are so different. YouTube is basically a search engine. It's the second biggest search engine behind Google, meaning if you stub your toe, and you're, you're most likely going to Google and you're going, how do I relieve my toe stub pain? Or you're going to YouTube and you're typing in how to relieve toe stub pain. Why did I choose that as an example? You're watching a video on how to relieve your big toe, right? Now, Instagram doesn't have that, but it wants to have us create long form content. So what I'm really predicting is Instagram will pick up the slack and completely ditch the bullshit hashtag system that's way outdated and update with new SEO key terms, meaning you can create long form videos on IGTV, like how to videos, and then put how to in the title, how to in the tags, and your Instagram will all of a sudden be searchable. So, so keep an eye out for that. So to recap, Instagram announced monetization for IGTV. They want us to be on IGTV and they're heavily promoting us and giving us some rewards for creating content for IGTV. 
being uh, that extra engagement I talked about with that new feature, uh, the monetization, the ability to create a series. And besides that, it's just a really good way to showcase your personality and kind of have a separate identity from your Instagram feed. I like to think of, let's say, a real estate agent who posts really cool pictures of themselves and the houses they have on their feed, and then they have an IGTV series that kind of de uh, delivers value, like how I sell real estate. And they, they kind of allows people to have two separate identities within Instagram. So that's just something really cool as well. Lastly, some of the biggest trends we've been seeing on Instagram are challenges. And Instagram's really taking from the TikTok playbook here. One of the reasons TikTok is so successful is because yes, you can create original content, but you can also participate in challenges that other people have created. Now, Instagram has announced the challenge sticker where you can create an Instagram story and you can create a challenge and challenge your friends to do that, like the ice bucket challenge or the whatever challenge, you tag your friends in your story, other people will participate. But a lot of challenges have been going viral that relate to content and finding challenges and participating them in them is a great way to take content ideas that already exist and bring them into your own universe and see extra engagement because these uh, challenges usually trend and bring extra engagement to your page. So some of the cool challenges that I have been seeing is the pillow challenge. The pillow challenge is essentially you take a pillow like this take a pillow and you put like a belt around it and you kind of make a fashion accessory out of your pillow. This was a pretty stupid pillow for me to use. <laughs> you make a fashion accessory out of your pillow and then you post the pillow challenge and you know, creativity is rewarded with tons of engagement. So the pillow challenge is very cool. The second one is the mugshot challenge. And the mugshot challenge is cool on a couple levels. One, it's gritty, it's simple, it's easy to do. You take a picture of yourself and you make it a mugshot, mugshot ask. I wish I could find my mugshot. Comment below what you think I went to jail for. I promise you it was nothing serious. It was actually pretty funny. So comment below what you think I went to jail for. Damn, I wish I could find that uh, mugshot. That would've been perfect for this trend. But basically you just create a mugshot of yourself. So it's perfect on that level. And it's also kind of controversial. Uh, James Charles posted this mugshot challenge and it was controversial because it looked like he was promoting domestic violence, which I don't know about that, but with controversy comes engagement. So he saw a flood of likes because of that. And then the last challenge we have here is the make it art challenge, or I think it's simply the art challenge on Instagram, where you take a piece of classical art and recreate it in your home. This one's perfect because, I mean, we're all stuck at home anyways, and finding everyday items around your house and creating art is funny. It's something that anybody can bring into your brand. I mean, anybody can do this challenge. And like I said, uh, the whole point of me bringing up these challenges is because it shows your creativity, one, and two, these trends, uh, these challenges and these trends come with engagement. So, you know, you use this, you use the hashtag art challenge and you're gonna see a ton of extra engagement come into your page. That's it for today's video. Which one of these challenges was your favorite? <laughs> favorite? <laughs> I'm so tired of this video. This is actually the second or maybe even third time I filmed this video. I did this entire video and all of the footage was completely blurry. So this second time around, I just spoke. I mean, this whole thing is in one take. I'm just speaking. So hopefully you don't get too bored. I'm actually trying some new things too. And I know you are fed up with the audio. I mean, look at this thing. Look, oh shit. This mic I got, everyone's chirping me in the comments saying your audio sucks. I bought this super nice mic. I just don't know how to use it. I'm learning. I even got an extra mic right here. Uh, I'm learning how to fix my sounds. So stop chirping me. I'm working on it. You guys make me cry every time you talk shit on my audio. All right, that's it for today's video. Which one of these challenges was your favorite? Let me know in the comments below. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe. We got new videos coming almost every day here. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.